Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is vCenter Server Customization Spec for Linux, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So I'm going to go straight to Policies and Profiles from the menu at the top of vSphere Client, and then pick VM Customization Specifications. And I'm going to create a new customization specification, and I'm going to call it Spec-Linux and a description of um, custom customization specification for Linux. These are used alongside a template so that when you deploy a template you can change some settings uh, specifically for each uh, virtual machine that you create from it. I'm going to select that this is for Linux not Windows and some of the Windows options disappear when you change it from Windows to Linux. We can use the virtual machine name, we can be prompted for a name during the wizard, or we can enter a name here. And optionally, if we do enter a name, we can also append a unique numeric value. But I'm gonna go for enter a name in the clone stroke deploy wizard. So every time I run this specification, it will ask me for a name for each individual VM that I created using this and the template. So I'm going to pick Europe and I'm going to click L to jump straight to London. And I can pick UTC or local time. I'll leave it as UTC in this instance. Uh, and if I want, I can optionally add a script file. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the script for this one. Then I've got some options for network. Uh, I can leave it as a standard DHCP network connection, that's the default, or I can manually add some custom settings. So I can change these settings for NIC0, um, various settings for IP version 4, IP version 6. I'm just going to cancel out of that and use the standard DHCP on that interface. I'm going to add some DNS servers here. I've got two internal DNS servers that I use for forward and reverse lookup on 115 and 114. I'm also going to add the public DNS servers that Google runs on 8888. And I'm going to add a default DNS search path or suffix. So I'm going to add that there. And if I had multiple of them, I could select them, move them up or down, or delete them. I'm just going to use the one. I get a summary of the settings and I'm just going to finish uh, to complete it. And you should see in that list, we now have a Linux spec for our Linux virtual machines. So that was vCenter Server Customization Spec for Linux, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you found that useful.